This learner was working in science on the cloud unit and he was having trouble with the target word cumulus. So he came up with this cue. We said, can you think of a cue, a word that sounds like cumulus that would help you remember cumulus? And he said, cumulate junk. My mom always says I accumulate too much junk. So we use that as his co-occurring phrase cue to help him remember cumulus. So we divided the word into syllables. We put accumulate junk in our call out and then we had him practice cumulus three times and then say the sentence cumulus clouds are fluffy on top and flat on the bottom and we were able to anchor the target word cumulus. Here we see a learner probably third grade struggling with a blocked air. In his efforts to retrieve the target word he says that is a uh, mm, don't tell me. So you can see that he is searching for the word, which implies that he knows the word, but can't retrieve it. It's commonly known as a tip of the tongue air. We can also see this adolescent experiencing air pattern too, when he tries to retrieve the word coefficient. He says, it's um, I, I don't know, the number in front. And he ends up actually giving a circumlocution for the target word coefficient, reassuring us that he knows the word. Even so though, he's not automatic in retrieving the word. It's assumed in error pattern two that the conceptual structure of the target word has accessed the semantic and syntactic features of the word, but failed to access the word's form or lexeme. So the outcome is a failure to retrieve any of the target word's phonological properties. And if you remember, that error occurs right here at the juncture point between the semantic and phonological lexicons. Now I want you to meet this student and he's going to share with you how he remembers the word experiment. What were some of your other ideas for remembering big long words with lots of syllables? Um, well, think of an easy word that goes with a hard word. Okay, how did you remember experiment? You were so good I, at that one. I do X spear Mint. Yum. That yummy mint. Experiment. So in your head you think experiment, but out, out experiment, but out loud you say experiment. Experiment. Okay. I love this video. It always makes me smile. Did you see how automatic he was with this usage of the word experiment? That would not have occurred without this mnemonic intervention. And we're going to compare air pattern two and air pattern three because it's kind of interesting to see where they differ um, as we look at the word finding characteristics of these two air patterns. First of all, they are similar in the sense that both know the target word, they comprehend the words they have difficulty retrieving, and they both are able to repeat the words. Okay, so if I were to say to Sean, Repeat after me, how, low, we. He is able to produce those syllables, which tells me that his problem is not oral motor based, but that it is retrieval based. However, when a learner produces air pattern two, they are responsive to the phonemic cue. So the phonemic cue does aid them. That is the if you say to the student the first syllable of the target word or the consonant vowel of a monosyllabic word, they are able to retrieve the word. However, if the source of their difficulty is air pattern three, they are not able to retrieve the word. And this is because the phonological cue, which is, is thought to jumpstart the phonological process, 
which is helpful for learners who have a word finding difficulty at the juncture point between the semantic and phonological lexicon because they need a cue to trigger the phonological process. But for the learner whose air is within the phonological lexicon, getting additional sound form information really isn't helpful because typically they're at the address of the word, but they cannot retrieve the complete phonological schema. Whereas the disruption air pattern too is a failure to even find the address of the word in the phonological lexicon. So the initial uh, cueing, the phonological cueing helps them find the address of the word.